Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 122 on the last day of February in 2017. These short months are always kind of funny, especially since it's my brother's birthday. It's always, always thought it was funny. Another day and another year, and he could have been a leap year baby. Anyway, nobody really cares about that. Moving on, uh, these meetings are recorded for those people that are here, or rather not here with us right now. Um, we have a small crew today. Um, but we still need to go through and do a whole bunch of triage. So that's actually what we're going to be doing. Um, I know I put triage first and status second in the agenda, but we'll do status first just to kind of say where we're at and then do triage because we have a lot of triage to do because um, we're going to look at all the stuff that we talk about in status. Um, and we'll do questions, comments like we always do. Um, moving on. 311, 311 status. You might be wondering why there's no 311 build, why there hasn't been. Um, <laughs> The uh, Visual Studio's 2017 support has broken the build, and due to the side-by-side -side nature of 2017, um, it doesn't. I can't get the build working essentially, so we're kind of wedged in between two different directions. Um, fortunately, this is all around the Visual Studio SDKs, which we don't need anymore when Votive comes out and moves into its own project, which is almost all, which is basically almost there too. So. Uh, my hope is that tonight I will sit down on the build machine myself and sort this all out and get it all building tonight. That's my hope. So we have a 3.11 build. If not, then we can at least disable the 2017 build, get a 3.11 build out just like it would have been without 2017 support, um, and uh, at least get a build out that people can start trying with all the bug fixes that we've been uh, putting in. So that's kind of the the plan. We will have a build very, very shortly, in the next day or two. Um, on that note, issues are looking actually really good. Uh, we're going to look at them here in a minute, so I'm not going to dig into that very much. Um, but it's that's it's been cool. Lots of progress on lots of different fronts to get us into a very good striking distance for uh, next week. And then we're also going to talk about the V3 pull requests just to discuss what are we doing with these pull requests, should we just be moving the four or whatever, whatever. So we'll go review them after we do triage. So, triage, PR review. Bob, you ready? I'm all set. All right. So we'll do triage first just because that's what we always do. I don't need to get out of the habit. Um, we did get an answer almost immediately after asking, hey, what's going on? But we still don't have any details about this um, and what's going wrong. Um, yeah, the the yeah we got an immediate answer from the original bug reporter, but um, he suggested we get follow up from Microsoft, and that hasn't happened. No, so I I because I, we're getting progress, I say we we push this along again and say uh, that's great, but you know we have people using this in. Uh, VSTS like we are ourselves. Um, believe it or not, Wix is built through VSTS and it's not having problems um, with warnings and errors. And I know that because I just hit a warning and an error. Uh, so um, I'm not exactly sure what is particularly happening in this case that's causing the problem. Uh, is this a, a time to head to Twitter and see if we can point someone we know at the issue or someone um, we know in, in TFS land? Let's push on him one more time because he's been responsive. Message okay. today. This doesn't seem to be widespread. We haven't seen it, so it may be something specific to his world. But we would love to know what the issue is because he's being responsive and get to the root problem. Because what he's suggesting isn't the right way to just solve this. So I think we just push it one more time. Okay. Um, add search capability inside XML file. This is tracking a whip, um, I believe, right? And yeah, this is this is the, this is the number for a whip, I believe. Um, so let's put this in four because I don't think we're going to take things in three anymore, right? Uh, not at this point, certainly. Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and give it a feature enhancement, put it in four, and let's. Oh, we probably can't sign to him, but let's see how it goes and get us to him to see how it goes. What, what do we get out of it? It would be awesome to have that functionality. Um, burn. Download previous package versions are missing from the cache. Uh, oh, a registry cleaner. 
Aha. <laughs> We've been getting this other places. Oh, a previous version. No, just repair the old version. Well, yeah. So, so this oh, is yeah, this is an problem. interesting problem. Yeah, mm. this is the um, if you have a bundle installed and you install a new bundle that includes a package that major upgrades a package in the old bundle, but someone has removed the old uh, package from the MSI package cache. Uh, yeah. Um, the major upgrade will fail when it goes to uninstall the old package as part of the major upgrade. Well, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so well, <laughs> it's not it's not clear. It's not clear that you can simply repair the old bundle, and certainly it's not something that's done automatically today. And and even this previous version URL won't work because what happens if you skip a version? Well, it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I thought so as well. But if you look, you know, he's suggesting that you can include the version number in the URL. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it, it's yeah, it, it, it it's one of those that might cover. You know, you might be able to set that up and cover seventy percent. Obviously, it would have to be a you know something that the BA could could look up. So. Uh. Uh, no. <laughs> well, let's put this as a, a suspended thing in floor, right? If someone really wants to go dig into it and come up with a, for a solution that is you know, mostly elegant and things like that, then we could talk about it. But this is just mostly crazy. <sighs> well, the the problem exists. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to discard the the report just because we don't like the solution. The problem is real, and it, for some reason, registry cleaners are not something that died back in the 90s. Um, and you know, we, we've seen reports of this from more than one spot. So, unfortunately, I think you know, registry cleaners that, for some reason, decide to nuke the MSI cache. Uh, All right, are I, a thing. I, I'd rather have a bug about that, and then we can come up with a design than than a feature here. It's I don't know. Not a bug. I don't... Uh, or... Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, the requested feature here is specific. That's what I'm concerned about. As opposed to the general problem of we need a solution for this problem. Which shouldn't be a problem, but whatever. And who cares if you clean the package cache? That should not matter. It must be that they're cleaning the MSI cache as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because burn won't care if it doesn't have the cache. Be like, all right, cool. Not much less that I don't have to delete on uninstall. Um, it's the MSI needs the old one. I, I don't... We're not taking this in three. I don't know. We we put it in four X as a yeah okay. Here's a problem to go solve. I don't. I just don't like the the feature design. It's like no, we're not. I don't. I'm not sure about this feature design at all. <laughs> right? No, I, I'm I'm. The problem yeah. statement is is fine. I think the problem statement is fine. I I don't just. Oh, well, I think the problem statement is missing that it's cleaning out the MSI cache as well. And okay, I fine, think the fine. confusion also is the requested feature. I don't think that that's the way to do this either. Okay. So uh, that's, it's just like, yeah, there's, right. Honestly, I think this last solution is probably the best one. <laughs> if the old bundle trying to uninstall finds that it's hosed, then it needs to repair itself before uninstalling itself, which is weird, but probably, a, like, this is, this definition of what they're doing now is probably the right, a better solution. But anyway, I'm concerned about keeping a feature where people are like, "Oh, that's the way it should be done. Let's do that." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." I I I said fine. Uh, I, All right. So I don't know what we do with this one then. Where do we put it? Edit it. <laughs> Change the body of it. That'd be not quite right. Uh. Up to you. If you want a new issue, that's fine. If not, I'll. I can. 
write up something as a comment so it's clear we're not thrilled with the suggestion. Um, if you think that comment will be enough so that people doesn't, we don't get off into the, oh, this way to implement it, then that's fine. Otherwise, I think a feature, another issue is a better way to track it. Okay. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'm not going to get to it. <laughs> if I look at all okay. the things I have to do with the build machines, I'm not going to get to it. Uh, all right. Burn installer launched by stand user cannot perform system restart. Is this really true? This is kind of scary. But I have to admit, I probably didn't run as a standard. I haven't run as a standard user and tested this in a long time. Well, we do try to have the. the we do try to take the privilege. Permission. Yeah, privilege. Sorry. Um, Good. So at least we did. Uh, at least we tried. Yeah. How are they getting any things in debug view? I thought in ship these don't show up. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll have to dig into this one, huh? So I'll have to look at it. Yeah, if standard user can't do it, then I guess we have to type it over to the elevated process if one exists. And if one doesn't, well, then, well, you probably shouldn't have caused a reboot. Yeah, this is all four. We'll have to do this all four. Yeah. All right. That'll be a fun thing to go dig into. Melt a product corrected with PDB does not update the merge paths. Oh, my goodness. Oh, merge modules. Okay. Should it? Maybe it should. Yeah, I don't think... Obviously, there's some back and forth yeah, with me huh? here. Um, in general, I don't think, well, in general, merge modules are bad. Um, in general, I don't think the, um, so the PDBs don't include merged information, right? No. Because merge, merge happens after the first well, it pass. In, it yeah. goes straight in the database, and those PDBs do not turn around and grab all this stuff out again. Right, right. Um, because we rely on merge mod, which doesn't know about PDBs. Well, and, I mean, this is why Melt, this is part of the reason Melt exists, right? Doesn't Melt, don't you Melt well, this merge was the, and oh, get Wix libs? This was the, yeah, this is one of the uh, dual personalities of Melt, right? Uh, yes. Melt was to create... Yeah. Fragments out of merge modules. Yeah. To aid in patching. Yep. And hey, look, it also helps in patching in other ways. Um, so yeah, this is one of those. Yeah. As long as your merge modules are static, it doesn't really matter. I'm still not entirely clear on if there's an error happening here or not, but. Um, well, it sounds like he wants to update the paths from the merge request, the, the the merge element, so that it points to the new location for the merge modules, you know, wherever they might be. Uh, okay, I didn't get that. Um, it's a little hard to tell because apparently they've implemented some functionality in a private build of Wix. Um, this find first endures thing. Oh yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, these guys have avoided the warranty, right? <laughs> Open the box and said, "Hey, look, we did all this stuff." We're like, "Yeah, you know what? We're not playing this anymore." What the heck is yeah. that? I, there's there's still more. So you know, the last the most recent comment is, you know, he doesn't want the Wix merge. Table. But we're not going to drop that from the PDB, but maybe there's, I don't know, maybe it makes sense. It can't be generated by a light. Isn't the Wix merge table the thing that says where to get the merge module from with all the data you pass into the merge mod deal? <laughs> well, no. Well, Wix no. merge is just the the merge refs, I think. Right. Or it's the source of the merge refs. So it's basically just the path to the merge module and the feature. Okay. Right. And 
any of the configurable settings that you might need. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Merge merge I mean, oh, yeah. It, it is the statement of merge this. So you can't drop it. <laughs> I mean, that would can't drop it because that's a statement that tells us, hey, yeah, we merge this merge module from here. This all stuff. I mean, from a PDB point of view, you don't do that. Yeah, I don't understand what this guy is doing. I also, what is this? Find first enders, da 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 da. Is that like okay. a compiler but, function or, you know? Yeah, something? but that's not how, that's not the syntax of it. <laughs> well, yeah, the same person submitted a bug previously on Torch and it was, yeah, they're definitely using a private build of Wix. Hopefully they've published their changes for the license, but um, I'm, I think I can guess what this uh, authoring does. Yeah. I don't know why you can't use bind paths, because that's what bind paths do, but whatever. Also um, true. <laughs> it's like, here, let's go create this whole feature. But there's a feature that exists, does that. I, Who knows? Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm still not entirely... I, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. I need a I need a I need a problem statement. What does it matter if the who cares about the because you've built your multiple PDBs, right? So does Torch care? Does Pyro care? Oh right. I'm not sure. We don't right, because we won't. Yeah, right. Why do we care about the merge modules? Because they don't get back in there, do they? You know, none of the and content it, is in there. You're right. I don't understand this. Now, now, now that you're backing all the way up to saying, what are you using this for? Why would it matter? You could get weird diffs and unreal tables, but that won't matter. Like, you know, the paths are wrong in the Mertwix merge table, but nobody cares. I mean, Pyro and Torch. Yeah, you're right. This doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll add it. All right. I think we just have to push that back again going, what are you talking about? Um, yeah. All right. Uh, hey, a typo in a log. It's kind of funny. I don't think that works even in any other variants of English. Maintenance? Can you call it British English? No? Anyway. We could add a U to it. Yeah, there you go. That would do it. Um, yeah, cool. Four? Let's just cross sure. it in V4 and someone will grab it. It's not that big a deal. Be one of those we do at the last minute kind of things. Cool. All right. So I think we went through all the bugs. <laughs> now let's look at what's left in V311. Uh, starting at the bottom. Bob, you said that this is too big for three. Yeah. Is what the final statement on this thing was. John's not here. Yeah, I wish, I wish John were here. So, so I, I first looked at this in uh, toward the end of 3.10 and, and saw, oh, too big. It's too big. So, so I said, well, let's look at it again in 3.11. And in 3.11, I looked at it and I go, oh, still too big. Um, but I, I looked at uh, what bits of it could I take into 311 that would be um, at least a partial solution? Um, and and no matter what we do, this you know I want to talk about the the pull request that John did because there's a lot of stuff in there. A lot of it makes perfect sense um, and yeah is is an improvement like kind of. Uh, using our friend Lambda's made it, you know, a little bit simpler to uh, um, implement retry behavior, which is good. And I was trying to, you know, uh, look at where currently bits of the tool set try to retry, but do so, you know, uh, poorly or insufficiently. Like, for example, um, in the actual... Uh, file transfer stuff, we do a retry, but it's a retry singular. And it's immediate retry. So, you know, what would it take to make that, you know, retry end times after, you know, a slight pause to allow your 
your antivirus to decide to, you know, unlock the file. Um, and that was easy enough. And I went to test it, and I realized, oh, wait, we need that retry behavior in this other area that is separate from, you know, the area that I worked on. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this, uh, it, it, it's all over the place is what I ran into. So, for example, before we even, you know, try to pull a file into a cabinet, we we grab the file information that we need to update the file table. Well, these are in two separate places, and finding all of these, you know, various spots where we touch files, uh, no. No. I decided it was too I, much work in, in three. I've lost interest for three. Because <laughs> sorry, it, it, I, I trust you long and Rob it, lost interest. No, no, it, it's no, it, it just goes. Yeah, we're not going to fix this in three. <laughs> it, well, this is a four, and, and none of it will apply to four. It has to all be redone in four. Uh, that is sadly true. Yes. So, but I'm hoping also that it maybe four, you know, did a better job of of breaking up where we look at files. Like I was really surprised um, that the the code that updates the file information, for example, is just, you know, a part of the, a random part of the Wix binder. Like, I guess it's probably already gone through the binder file manager, I think. But it's one of those things, it'd be, it'd be really cool if, um, you know, we had a nice, a single interface for touching files. And I don't know that, you know, Wix4 has done that, but, but something along those lines of, of of, I, I look at the ways it's spread out, and I go, maybe that should be cleaned up a bit. Yeah, it's, it's where I, I think to. that has not been the focus of four, so we're not sure. surprised that that's solved of four. Not that it shouldn't be, but I think we should just abort this in three and take the feedback to four, which would be fine. And I, I just like, all right, cool. John's good. He's published the change. We're not taking it three. We should reevaluate this in four, so we do a good job of four because we're, we're just, it's just not coming back. Yep, and that's where I got to. It, All right, it was cool. it's too big. Cool. Um, haven't heard from Heath. I'm going to hope that this is still going to happen in the next month or so. Um, um, I then have the half the bugs again. <laughs> Soon, more than half the bugs. Um, and. The part you don't see is all the other bugs that I've gotten rid of over the last you know, weeks, including this weekend. So anyway, um, I am still look at this. This is the votive work, so yay. Um, that's what I'm hoping will unblock the build and get all that stuff together. So we'll do that. And then this one is just a, I haven't decided. I've looked at the change a couple times, and I'm going to have to rewrite it and have to decide if is it good to have in three. So we'll see. It may turn into the same issue that you hit here, but it's smaller, so it's hard for me to say that. It's just we'll see. When I, when I get past getting votive in the build and all the rest of 3.11 unblocked, I can focus on this last issue. Um, so that's where I'm at on that. And we can decide whether we'll take it then. Cool. That works. So we're down to three issues, and this is the big one that we're working on, and then these two will happen if they happen, and if they don't, they don't. Um, uh, can we take a look at the retriage queue? Uh, they're here. I went and looked, and it's all in the pull requests. Everything in the retriage queue is in the pull requests. Yeah. Okay. But um, we need, if, if we decide to take stuff, then we need to update the bugs. Yes. And that's why I want to look at the pull requests more than the bugs, because if we okay. don't take them here, we're just going to push the bugs in the floor and call it good. All right. Um, this is not happening in three. That's what we just discussed. Yep. Um, prereq to correct lang ID. Mm, language to correct lang ID. All right. Where are we at on this conversation? Oh, CLA required. That's, oh no, it's signed now. Okay, that's weird. Is it, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So, are we taking this change? I think we can. I have to look at the, uh, or rebook, rather. Make sure.
sure everything's up to date, but I can do that. Okay. All right. I think it's good to go. This okay, one. cool. Um, oh, this one. I don't like this one. This is the one that redraws the entire world to get the alt key, right? Oh, no, right. this is much better. Wait. No, no it is. No. <laughs> no, it's that. Yeah. If you hit this redraw, this is not the right solution to this problem. There is, believe it or not, <laughs> I love I love Raymond Chen. Um, he actually um, did a blog post late last year about this very issue. Um, so I, I have this I have this open in a tab, and it's probably been open in a tab for like two months. Um, for me to go to go read read the the whole post in relation to the issue. But it's not redraw the entire window, I assume. Raymond Chen. Uh, it doesn't have to. The well, that I don't know. I don't know. Well, um, our, I looked at this a long time ago, and I noticed that it doesn't actually reproduce on Windows 8 or Windows 10. Also, remember, see, the reason I never, I've never seen this problem is that I almost always go in when I set up a new, you know, new OS. I go in and say, oh, always show the underlines because why the hell wouldn't you always show them? Yeah. That completely affects whether you see this issue. Right. Um, I still don't think we're taking this fix, right? Is the bug still open? We're, we're uh, well. Yes. Yeah. I assume. And it's in 3X, so the bug's still out here. It's just we're yeah. not taking this fix, right? I mean. Right. The, not the redraw window, I agree. Right. That's okay, not. cool. So let's make that pull request go away and say, thank you, but this is not the way we're fixing it. And hey, maybe drop the link to Raymond Chen's blog in there just so you have somewhere else you can find it. Sure. Um, this was not the solution we took in the end, but Bob, you you addressed this, right? I thought yes. I saw this go by. So this can go yeah. away as well, saying thank you for pointing out the problem, and we came up with a variation on this. Right? Sorry, I'm navigating to pull request. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. Sorry, I'm asking Bob to do two things at the same time. Um. Does this have a bug open on it? Oh, oh look, this is going to do the whole redirect all the way to we still setting back. Awesome! And this is in 3x. Um, so, this is a, a bad bug, and it's actually down in dutil. Um, we don't need, like, there's a whole lot of change in this. That I don't think we want this pull request, um, but I've been thinking maybe we want the fix, um, or maybe we want this bug. Um, and the fix is to go down to the dutil code in the creating attempt file, and there's a loop, that, a retry loop that has no exit. If the if you get a access denied, we'll just put you into a perpetual loop because it doesn't catch that type of error code and get out. Okay, okay, it retries forever as opposed to retrying for some reasonable amount of time. Hey, it might work eventually. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you could go in and change the temp folder to let you write to it, and then it would work suddenly. <laughs> and it will hang out there until you finally do that, uh, for example. Uh, disk full is another problem that it could hit. Um, so I, I think we should... Knowing all that, and given this has been open, I think we probably should take a shot at taking this. Um, in 3.11? In 3.11. It's a small fix to deutil. Which is not the fix that he did here exactly, because he did all kinds of other changes. And he hasn't find the CLA, so, so I'm not interested in looking at the code that much uh, than going, yeah, if someone goes look at the temp function and just fixes the retry logic on it, that'll be the, probably the fix for this. So what do people think? About if pulling it's this that in simple, that sounds good. Uh, do you mind trying to take a shot at it, Sean? I would do it, except I'm not, I've just given myself an, a big problem with the build machine. It sounds like I just walked into something, but sure. <laughs> That's why I was very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bob, this this number, let's just bring it back to three X and assign it to um, Sean, and I expect it will disappear. Okay, hold on. Four nine two nine. All right, I'll find it. Yep. All right. Make themes DPI aware. This is the GDI plus problem, right? Uh, not 
problem per se. Or the bringing GDI plus down. Yeah. GDI plus feature. So are we going to stand by this, which is actually the root of the problem? Uh, I, so I believe that I don't know what to believe. Uh, it seems to me that GDI plus was used in a change that Heath made actually in Wix 4 a while back. Um, but it seems that it was in inside um, inside Burn it was used sparingly and I'm still not entirely clear why. Um, but it meant that it was only used to, you know, help in the math in determining uh, where the splash screen should be centered. Um, the change in uh, in CMutil and Wix standard BA uh, was a separate thing. I think I think you can make those changes without pulling in GDI plus. CMutil already uses GDI plus, so I'm not actually you know, concerned about that. Right, it was just the burn engine. Yeah. Mark GDI and, and, and loading GDI plus right away. Right. Um, Which, you know, truthfully, I, I'm not terribly concerned. I don't think it's going to, you know, it's, it's not a dependency that, you know, we have to worry about. It's on XP. GDI plus the well, code no, they, to, we may the problem is that we may have to on XP go find more DLLs to make it safe to load that's fair and scary so yes and it means we need probably do the same thing in four anyway but we have time in four um, I don't know it sounds to me like this is just a thing we're going to fix in four yeah I'm I'm I yeah yeah I would, I would love to take it, you know, in three, but, um, you know, the downside, though, is that, you know, Femutal in four has diverged quite a bit, so the pull request is less useful. Yeah, well, <laughs> yep. Sean, thoughts? I wasn't sure whether the GDI plus was required or not for the rest of the stuff, so right, right. But I, I, mean, I kind of stopped looking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but I mean, what we're saying is that we don't have a fix. This isn't the fix if it's playing GDI plus without a whole lot of other verification and security problems that we might have that it might open up that we don't have now um, due to the number of DLLs that it may then load. So I, I think that says this just goes to four, right? Because we're not getting this fixed. Now, yeah, I mean, I I guess if he had taken it out and updated the pull request, then we could have thought about it. But well, that's the other thing. It, you know, I I reviewed it more thoroughly um, on New Year's Day, apparently, and there's been no response. Which you know that's fine, um, but it means that if we're going to take this. We have to hack the, you know, the branch to take out the GDI plus change. Um, investigate happen. whether yeah. Yeah, this isn't happening in three. <laughs> this well, isn't happening unless you know someone wants to volunteer. It's it's mostly there. I mean, really, it's mostly there. All right. Um. um all right. So. We keep this here. Where's the bug? Is there a bug tracking this? No. Yes. Yes, there it is. Yes. Let's look at this one. Where is it currently? 3x. All right. So put it in 3.11. Say now's the time to get this fixed to address all those issues. Otherwise, we'll push it to 4. And we will re-review this pull request and this issue in a couple weeks. 
All right. I'm going to I'm going to give it to myself to look at. Okay. Burn folders loading dynamic paths. This is the the uh, 311 bug that we already were looking at. Um, yep. So this is still on my list. Um, wrong. This is not the right pull request, but it does point at the problem. All right. Wrong binding in IIS. Oh, this looks like it finally got down. Um, to the change. Right. This disappeared for a while. And now it's back um, with a smaller change. Really? You put a star in it? That's the correct answer? Um, I don't know what the rest of these changes are. Are they white space? Oh, you pulled the exit outside. Okay. Um, oh, I see. It's a copy of the... If, the, if it is blank... Put a star in it? Oh wow. Okay. Uh, how much do we trust this, huh? It's IAS. I have no opinion. So do we have to update like the code where it reads it out, where it decides what to do? Like, is there some kind of rollback code that's storing what's there today that needs to be updated? If it's blank, put a star in it. It's basically what this is saying. This is just going to require testing. I just don't trust that's going to work as is. Uh, all right, we'll leave this open. This isn't going to make our first drop, but maybe we'll get to it. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Um, ARM building with Visual Studio and SDK. Uh, it looks like this is just waiting for someone to say, we'll take it. I'm assuming this isn't going to break the build machine, <laughs> right? Oh, well, you said you got it working, right? Right. Cool. You, you, you still have to add the flag, uh, build arm equals true. To oh, okay. Okay. So I think the real question would be is, do we want to turn that on for 3.11? Yeah, I'm going to say no until we, you know, have someone that actually needs it. We have, we don't distribute any of that stuff today anyway. It's not in the installers, it's not in the binaries. That, but. That's correct. All right, so uh, I guess we take this and then we'll wait and see about, you know, turning it on. Because, I mean, it, it cleans it up at least, right? And I tr basically, I think I'm saying I trust Sean. You already took it in four. Well, that because it's four, right? I'm, I'm much, it's much more straightforward for me to go. Yeah, we'll just roll with this in four. So the question is, do we want it in three? Bob, if we don't ship it, it's not going to break anybody. Yeah. Worst I case, mean, it breaks the build and. And just I'm make okay these guys' that. lives easier if they want to try to do it themselves. Sure. So, all right. Cool. Um, CLA sign. Inner shortcut needs icon. Right. Is there a bug related to this? No. Yes. There is? Oh, there it is. Um, there yeah. Is. Right. And this is the feature. Should... Yes. Internet shortcut wants an icon. So, are we taking this? Uh, this has been around for, or this request has been a long time, and he's done all the work to um, do that. So, yeah, it's all the changes. Changes, 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 changes. Um, 
Is that okay that, that he added columns to the table? Like, I don't know. I forgot if that breaks patching or not. Oh, and if I did it, I don't think it breaks patching. Oh, God. Because at first I was going, well, yeah, that's how you don't break patching. Um, but is that true? MSI did it, so I think it's okay, because they did it to the shortcut table, I thought. That's right. You can't change a column, but you can add them. Is I think you right? can add them. I think so. Which table is this? Custom Internet table. Shortcut. Internet shortcut table. Um... Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, no, it, it's... Um, remember they did that in MSI 4.5? Yeah. Where they changed a type, like, in the custom action table, and they ended up having to revert it and add a column. So yes, it's legal. That's what they did. All right, cool. Um, so I don't want to review the code right now. Someone else, I'll let you guys do that when you have time. Do we want it in three? That's the only question. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. It's you know it's isolated in the extension. Okay. Um, it's been asked forever. Yeah. Someone has done the work. Granted, the last minute, but I don't know. They didn't know that. But it is right. you know it's before. So, all right, cool. Let's change this milestone to three eleven, and then I'll let you guys review it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have it. It doesn't play by the style rules, so we're gonna have to yeah, do something so, there. But pull it. Get your own name on the end of the commit. Call it good. Right. Now. It's not yeah. that bad. No. No. All right. Um, cool. I think we've now reviewed all of these, and we now have answers for all of them. Um, where we're going to re this will go in. This we're just going to have to wait. Um, we're going to pull this bug in. Basically, Internet Shortcut, IS Binding, and DPI Aware are all going to come to 3.11, and we'll see if they make 3.11 or not. Right? That's essentially what we're saying. Same with this this uh, dynamic loading uh, from the payload folder. And tempter. And, oh, and the tempter. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five bugs coming into 3.11 um, because there's fixes, and, or mostly fixes, and we'll see if they happen. I'm going to look at 275 as well. 275 as well. And 275, right, could come into. Cool. So this is actually really good. Yay. Good job. Go team. Uh, let's see if we can get these done. Um, and that will be the end. Like, that's kind of where it is. So um, I'd offer to take more, but I'm pretty full up with focusing on the build machine and making sure that we finish all the votive stuff here um, and all that good stuff. All right. <sighs> cool. This has been a full meeting, I think. And we all got work to do in the next week. Other things people want to talk about? Things going on out there? Jacob made it. Phil's out there. No John. Um, anything people want to talk about? No, no, no. All righty then. Well, I guess I'll give you guys the 20 minutes of the last hour back. Um, we are closing in on a very exciting <laughs> end of 3.11, and then we will talk about um, what happens with 3 after that. Maybe, let's see, the next meeting is in two weeks, so that'll be uh, the 14th of March. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll recap and see where we're at, how things are going, and we will um, discuss what happens after 3.11 um, and 4. All right. Until two weeks from now, and I'm sure we'll see you guys on Wix devs as things come out. Look for those builds coming out so you can kick the tires on them um, very soon. I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.